I would say that my superpower is patience. My superpower is my mindset. My superpower is uh, my discipline. My superpower is creativity. Man, we just wrapped up the Cool to Be Smart South Bend Initiative right here at Brown Middle. We had four different high schools from the South Bend area here, over 100 students. We had the opportunity to deliver our amazing documentary, docu-series, episode one, Homewood Bound, and a screening, a private screening, just for these amazing students. And then we had the ability to roll right over into a HBCU panel to really, really let all the students know the importance and the value of a smart mind, education, entertainment, edutainment, and we had to let them know that it's cool to be smart. And before they left out of here, each and every one of these students said, smart is now the new cool. <laughs> This was my uh, second event with the Fraser Kids Foundation. It was a lot of fun. We had a bunch of people there. The vibes were good. Now I'm definitely thinking about going to an HBCU to study construction management. Yeah, so man, the Fraser Kids Foundation is a nonprofit here in the city of South Bend. Our whole purpose is to expose at risk and underrepresented youth to careers in the arts. But the key word in that whole phrase is expose. So whether it's through scholarship giveaways, uh, panel discussions, college tours, or even events like we did today, we just really want to help change and push their mindset in a different way. Today's event was amazing. Um, working with kids all my career, I think it's important for them to be able to see themselves and the people who are providing support to them. So I'll say being your authentic self is not an invitation to you being your unprofessional self. So for example, you may like to dance and being authentic and dancing is cool, but you're not going to be walking down the hallway of your office twerking. You see what I mean? Like that's, yeah, that's being authentic, but that's the wrong place probably, you know, to, to, to be authentic. So seeing all of the kids in the room and the energy in the room, everyone was relatable. And so that created a lot of good energy and I feel like that created an opportunity for them to want to be more engaged. Try to multiply, we got hands up, hands up, hands up, hands up. Today's event was amazing. It brought back such joy to me to see that our kids are able to unify despite what social media says about our youth and they also need to know that they have opportunities and resources that are right here within their city. Beforehand, I never really thought about HBCUs. It was just like a thought in the back of my mind. Heard about them, ain't really thought about them. But then learning about them, hearing all the experiences, good experiences that people have from them, it just inspired me to want to go to one. I've actually created some good connections through Brian. He set me up with uh, somebody from Tuskegee, which is one of the ones I was really looking into. Apparently they have a good uh, construction program and stuff like that, so I'm just looking forward to going on a college tour there through them. We need HBCUs because it is so important that when you wake up in the morning, you know that you're not alone, that you know that there are people who look like you, sound like you, dress like you, and move like you who are doing great things in great places. So actually, man, this program really started last year when we partnered with Brown Community Learning Center to do some HBCU panel discussions. And so this year we came up with an initiative called the It's Cool to Be Smart South Bend HBCU Initiative, which is really just another way to increase the awareness of HBCUs and kind of just talk about the relevancy um, here to the South Bend community and also South Bend Community High School students, most importantly. Students next year, so still be going to Tennessee State next year. My thoughts on the Cool to Be Smart panel was that it was very informational. Actually, my uh, friend Tyler came to the second one with me and it actually impacted her a lot because she didn't even want to go to college until she heard people that actually went to the, her dream school, which was Howard University. What influenced me the most for choosing a HBCU and to be exact, Tennessee State, was the panels because it was so many people from TSU that was representing. It means so much, um, you know, personally for me and the staff here at the building, this is, this is what we show up to work every day for, to give our students access to information like this. When I went to school here in South Bend, I didn't really hear too much about HBCU. So to have an event like this that's opening up our students' mind to the possibilities of what's out there for them and to be able to see people like them, uh, you can't really put a price on it. So my daughter, um, she's at Gremlin State University now, and one of the things she told me was, Mom, she said, I'm so happy to have teachers, teachers that look like me. 
I'm just so impressed with everything. Like this was, this was absolutely beautiful for this community. So to see all of these kids here interested, engaged, wanting to know more about the people that are in front of them, it's just incredible to see all of this come together. South Bend, we love you, we will be back, and let's make it do what it do.